previously on my startup blog. We got selected for Delta V. Okay. Wait, what? We got selected for what? We got selected for Delta V. I'm gonna spend a summer in New York. It's happening live on <laughs> Samuel TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to episode number seven of my startup vlog series. Today is really stressful and I mean, it's getting really bad. So I think in the last videos in Miami, everything looked so fun and nice. And you know, it was really fun and nice, even though we're not partying there, we were just working day and night really. But now things are getting very tense. So I can show you my calendar, which is open here behind me. Today's Monday, I had a whole bunch of meetings and stuff going on. So right now I'm working on a stable diffusion project for my PhD at MIT, which is a lot of work and it's due quite soon. Then tomorrow is pitch day at 5 p.m. So tomorrow I will initially be presenting in front of a small group of VCs, which is probably like two or three of them only. And only if I really do well, if then I'm actually gonna be allowed to present in front of all the other VCs. I have all the slides ready, but I haven't practiced a single time. See, and you know, they told me I should repeat the pitch for a hundred times until I get it perfectly right. There's just no way I'm gonna do that. And I'm really under a lot of pressure right now. I have to finish a whole bunch of coding projects that can yeah, this is really getting to me. And the problem is on Friday, I'm actually flying out. I'm flying first to Germany for two days to visit my family. And then <laughs> I'm flying to South Africa. So Alexander, my good friend and co-founder of my first startup assist, he was like, hey, Samuel, do you want to go to South Africa? And I was like, hey, why would I go to South Africa? I was like, ever heard of Burning Man? I was like, yeah, that's not happening in South Africa. It's happening in Nevada. It's like, yeah, but they have a regional event called Africa Burn. It's happening in the desert of South Africa for five days. We can just go there, have a lot of fun. And somehow I was like, yeah, sure, let's do this. And we just booked a flight without thinking too much, even though it's the worst and busiest time for me ever. So I have to finish everything before I go there because there I'm not gonna have any access to the internet so it's impossible for me to work on anything but yeah I think it's gonna be really spectacular we're gonna fly there in first class because remember my stories about the 40 credit cards that I have all the way down to South Africa we're gonna vlog this as well we're gonna vlog the Africa burn festival it's gonna be super spectacular but for me back to work okay I'm already failing at some very basic tasks and I have to use GPT-4 in order to generate some new files on a remote Linux machine. Yeah, I don't really know I'm gonna make this done by the end of the week. So I just got off the call with one of my co-founders and we realized, I mean, okay, we're moving to Manhattan. Should I stay? We don't really have enough money actually to fund our lives in Manhattan. We don't have an apartment yet. I have to find someone to live in my room. He has to find someone to live in his apartment. It's gonna be such a nightmare. I'm graduating in a few weeks. My parents are coming to the US. I have to organize all of that. I'm just currently going a bit crazy with everything. Three hours later. So it is 11.30. I'm gonna go back to working on the pitch. Did you ever ask yourself, why are lawyers so expensive? Last year, my friend Stardom got sued over some copyright infringements. Yeah, pitch practice has been pretty well, so I'm more confident now. Tomorrow I have another two or three hours or so to practice. I'm gonna totally crush it. <laughs> Good morning! So I slept pretty well and now I'm gonna get ready to present this. Hopefully I can repeat it at least for 20 or 30 times so I get a bit more fluent in it. Spoiler alert, I didn't. Okay, I said I would be practicing for my pitch but honestly I just realized I can't be chewing and practicing at the same time so I just started watching a video of Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall talking random nonsense. Okay, so I finished my breakfast now so it was bloody disgusting. I know I have to eat my 15,000 calories Gotta eat big to get big every single morning. Time to consume my morning supplements. Got them all right here. Let's see if I can do them all at once. Did you ever ask yourself, why are lawyers so expensive? Last year, my friend startup ended up in a patent dispute and the lawsuit costed him over $100,000. Okay, I'm really hyped up now. I've did about 20 trial runs really getting bored of this repeating the same thing over and over again is pretty exhausting also i feel like i'm not really getting much better so i'm gonna take a shower anyways uh, heading out now to have lunch there i'm gonna grab my scooter and i'll be there in oh gosh i'm super late so just arrived at hbs so i'm quickly gonna grab lunch and then later have advanced negotiations class it's a cool class where the professor personally interviewed hillary clinton after class, I met up with Emily at the famous HBS sign, so we quickly decided to copy Kim Kardashian's latest photo shoot. Let us know in the comments who did it the best. Even though as a YouTuber I constantly talked to an audience, I started getting a bit nervous before my pitch knowing how important it was for us to make it to the final round. 
Hi everyone, my name is Samuel and this is Case Wind. So, did you ever ask yourself, why do law firms charge so much money for their services? Well, the reason is because they're extremely inefficient. So, we built a platform that can make lawyers more efficient using artificial intelligence. Last year, a good friend of mine in Switzerland, a startup, he had a lawsuit impending which was about some copyright infringement. He ended up spending over $100,000 for a tiny startup just on legal fees. When he showed me the invoice, I realized that he spent over $50,000 on some silly tasks such as summarizations, translations, some very trivial document analysis, which could all be done automatically by AI. Then we have Emily, who's sitting right over here. Uh, I can say hi. So Emily is, <laughs> is a PhD candidate at MIT working on applied machine learning and AI. Emily also used to work for Google and Microsoft, and she's in charge of all that heavy lifting on the technology side, making sure the AI works. Then we have Sophia sitting right next to her. So is a lawyer and she will be making sure that our platform is actually useful for lawyers. And lastly, my name is Samuel Bosch. I'm also a PhD candidate at MIT working on machine learning and AI. I, I'm cross-registered, but I'm doing my minor here at HPS of business administration and I recently exited my first startup. So I'm very excited to be building case money and revolutionizing the legal industry using artificial intelligence. I'm still not able to show you the full pitch due to confidentiality reasons, but I promise you'll learn more very, very soon. Next, we spend a few minutes answering questions from the audience. Okay, we're using not just GPT-4, we're using multiple large language models. We're building a combination. Maybe, actually, Emily can answer the yeah, technical part um, of this a bit so, better. Oh, so studies have shown that like the ensemble your models can actually improve results on state-of-the-art uh, benchmark data sets. And so, rather than relying on a single open AI model, as like one of our well-known competitors uh, is doing, I think we're going to try to leverage the ensembling of multiple models as well. Hello from post-production. So we are about to start fundraising, targeting a valuation of about $25 million, fingers crossed. As soon as we have the money, we will start hiring. So if you're interested in working with me in really any capacity, we'll be looking for so many different backgrounds. You can go to caseman.ai, sign up, leave your email address there so you get updates as soon as we open positions. With that, back to the video. To our great excitement, the VCs voted for CaseMind and therefore I was allowed to pitch my startup to the entire room full of over 50 investors and VCs. So I'm very excited about uh, revolutionizing the legal industry using AI. Okay, so I did make it to the final round, which is great, so I could pitch to the entire group of VCs. Very excited about that, even though I kind of messed up the presentation a little bit, given that I wasn't aware that I only have two minutes for the presentation, and also I wasn't aware that there are no slides allowed, so I think it went pretty well, though, um, given that I was completely unprepared for that part. Howdy, so I just got home, and now I'm not just wearing this in order to look like a complete douchebag, this actually just arrived by mail for the Africa Burn Festival. So I'm currently going to a Japanese all you can eat barbecue place. Meeting up with Amir and some other gym bros. Let's see how much meat we can consume. I think it's gonna be a horrible deal for the restaurant given that they probably don't expect gym bros to arrive there. Super late, I have no idea if they're actually keeping our reservation. Well, if they knew how unprofitable as customers we are, they most likely wouldn't keep it. You're lucky because we only hold that for you. <laughs> The person who was supposed to arrive actually arrived at first because of German. Yeah, I'm German. And everyone else has said they would be on time or super late. Yeah, but classic. Yeah. Meanwhile, we can check out the menu. Just They're for on time. There they are. <laughs> Kira I'm here. Misu. I'm ready for the all you can eat. I eat only raw. Only Nothing raw. Nothing on here. I will take. Raw meat diet? Yeah, raw meat. It's gonna be liver king. Stay primal. Can we have the filet mignon? The premium cerealion? What else do you want? Can we have the uh, New York stick? <laughs> is a gym bro ordering a pink lemonade? Anyways, we ordered Every all. Gym bro can have his own we, we ordered all the meat on the menu. They told us we have to pay if we don't finish it, so that's a challenge for us. So Andy ordered salad. Totally, totally betrayed us. How dare he? What's the point of living? If you can't be the big. Oh, but dude. You know, you know how they say. That's a very classic. That's a very classic example. You know how they say, live big, uh, die large, leave a giant coffin. <laughs> He's having pink lemonade. Look at it. <laughs> hey guys. This looks really good. Is it okay if I just toss it on here? What? What is this? A flaming yarn? It's not how you're supposed. To. What are you Instagramming? I'm trying to be an influencer. It's for OnlyFans. Uh, make sure to follow Amir on his OnlyFans account. We'll put the link in the description. Oh, 
Okay, so how much are we doing here? This is order number... This is four of them, right? So we had like 20 portions in total of this. That's crazy. I think I will have eaten like three pounds of, uh, of uh, meat in total. I haven't had anything other than meat so far. I'm going to vomit. Wait for me. <laughs> I think I had about 1.5 kilograms of meat in total. I ate basically nothing but meat. And these guys too. Uh, That's like three point something pounds of meat. For, for 58 bucks, I think we ate like 70, 75 bucks 75 worth of bucks. meat. Plus the ice cream and everything else. Yeah, and the fact that, you know, they still have to pay for the restaurant, the wages yeah, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely won that trip. Yeah, we really won this one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And here are some very exciting updates. So update number one, as I already mentioned, if you're interested in working with me in any capacity, you can go to casemind.ai, submit your CV and subscribe to updates to see if anything new is happening. And a second update is, yes, I've created a Discord server. Finally, you guys have been asking me for about a year if I'm gonna create a Discord server. So yes, now it's finally here. It's open to the public and ready. So if you're interested in joining a great community of brilliant minds interested in all sorts of topic related to any of the videos really that I've recorded so far, you can find great people there. So make sure to sign up to my Discord channel. I'm gonna put the link here as well as in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. And also, if you wanna be nice to me, you can leave a nice comment in the section down below so it pushes the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.